Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, my, uh, Mr. Reef Buster. Um, this is episode two of the Nano Reef Tank. Um, now, for those of you who have seen the first episode, episode one, um, you may not re recognize this tank you're looking at right now. Um, that's because this is actually a 10 gallon uh, tank and not the two and a half gallon that you saw in episode one. And I'll give you guys a quick recap as to why you're seeing this 10 gallon tank instead of the two and a half gallon in the first episode and why this tank looks like the way it does right now. So I'll give you guys a quick rundown. So shortly after I started cycling that two and a half gallon nano tank, um, within a week of the cycling process I realized there was a, there's a crack on that tank. Uh, which was not there or oh, it was probably there it wasn't just bad but then after a week we started leaking water all over the place and I know realized there was a crack in it which I did not notice before I started it so I had to um, I had two options either just stop the whole project or just find another tank um, and I really wanted to do this uh, nano uh, 10 nano reef tank project of mine and um, so you know discarding this whole project was out of the question so I uh, initially I was gonna get another two and a half gallon or three gallon tank but then I realized now that I have the option to actually buy another tank and not you know use what I already have existing um, I want to, I want to go with a little bit bigger um, two and a half gallon was a little too small or even three gallon would have been a little too small um so 10 gallon uh, seemed like a perfect size so i went ahead and bought this 10 gallon tank i mean i didn't pay much for it i only paid like ten dollars for this tank so it wasn't super expensive um and i had to transfer everything from that two and a half gallon to the 10 gallon tank and it's been cycling ever since and uh, a couple of days ago uh last week I added the first clownfish uh, on this tank after it's been done cycling and that's that that's a maroon clownfish that's actually a designer clownfish that's a that's a gold um, I think uh, I think it's a gold touch uh, gold touch clownfish uh, if I believe if I remember correctly or gold spatter uh, clownfish and then yesterday I added the the other clownfish that you see there's another that's another designer clownfish the, the white one with the orange stripes on it so and part of the reason why this tank looks like the way it's half finished because it is half finished because from episode one that's the that's the structure from the two and a half gallon and that's the sand from the two and a half gallon tank I already started cycling I did not want to add uh, well, I couldn't add more because um, these rocks were already cycled by the time the, there was a crack on that two and a half gallons. They were already sus like 90% cycled. So at that point, I did not want to wait another whole month uh, to add livestock to this tank. So what I did, just transfer the rock structure and the sand from the two and a half gallon and just started you know added the fish last week and added this this fish uh, yesterday now currently i have more dry rock that's being cured as we speak i have another 10 pounds since this is a this the, this this rock that you're looking at is actually about three pounds so it's not it's not much so i have 10 pounds i went ahead and bought 10 pounds worth of dry rock from my nearest uh, uh, local store and they're currently being cured as we speak uh, they've been curing for over two weeks now um, so they should be cured very soon or what I, I want to make sure they get they cure very very good uh, after they cure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them um, to the left side of this tank and they'll be they'll be over there and after I 
you know set up the do, do the structure and the setup that's when I'm gonna add uh, more live sand and as you guys know from episode one I'm, I'm going with the uh, Argolive Oolite uh, pink uh, Bimini pink sand so I bought another 20 pounds worth of sand which is waiting because I want to set up the rock structure then add the remainder of the sand so that's what we're waiting for right now uh, I'm sorry I couldn't keep you guys updated. I've been really busy um, working and then working on this tank when I have a uh, spare chance. So I haven't had much time to make a video or to update you guys as the things happen. And I'm sorry for that. But I, I made the video as early as I can, which is right now. <laughs> so uh, thanks for your patience and understanding. Uh, leave comments below. Let me know if you guys had a similar experience um, when you if, when you you know started a tank or anything like that because this is the best solution um, that I thought would be at this at that time I mean I could have just added the these rocks and the new rocks and wait another whole month for the whole thing to cycle all, all of them to cycle together but uh, yeah, as we know in the reefing community most of us are not very patient so I had the syndrome as well so I couldn't wait so I just added you know just added the ones that from the two and a half gallon just wanted to add a fish in there just to get the whole thing started again I mean it's not gonna be too bad it's not gonna be too much of a hassle as you can see I made sure everything stays on one side this way I have I have completely blank slate on the left side of this tank so this way I can add the new rock structure once they're done curing and add the live sand it's gonna be gorgeous um, and then we'll go really really slow as far as adding any corals uh, onto this tank uh, simply simply because of the fact that I'm gonna have to monitor um, everything on this tank weekly um, just to make sure everything all the perimeters are where they need to be uh, and the reason I have to be very careful with the, the addition of any corals to this tank because this is not going to be running on a sump or any kind of protein skimmer. Uh, I'm going to try in the beginning, I'm going to try my best to run this tank slim simply with that uh, cancer filter, the 75, um, the cancer filter that I have, the Fluval 306 rated for up to 75 gallons. So my I'm gonna try my best to get a thriving reef going on in this just by using the cancer filter and just doing weekly maintenance maintenance and water changes and maintain the maintenance on the cancer filter. I'm gonna see how successful I can get. And I'll be making weekly videos, maybe even by bi um bi weekly videos even um to keep you guys updated once after the tank gets established uh, with just the rock and the fishes and then I'll start adding corals based on how the calcium, the, um, the magnesium and, uh, and the alkalinity everything is uh, at at that point so it'll be slow um, I may have rushed it right up until this point by now waiting to cure all the rock and doing it in one shot but going forward I will uh, have more patience when it comes to adding the actual corals and everything because they're more expensive I'll be adding very ex uh, very nice pieces in, in this tank um, now now since the size, the size of the tank changed and my vision for this tank changed as well and as you can see in my first video I asked what kind of fish would you usually like to see on this tank and I had a couple of different suggestions I mean Initially, I was only going to put one clown in it and put a ras maybe in the two and a half gallon. Just one clown and a ras. Uh, but now that now that it's a 10 gallon tank, um, I've got this crazy idea. I mean, no, I'm not the only one, but I've got this feeling that I'm only going to be keeping clowns in this tank. So, I mean, I'm not not like I'm going to have like 10 or 15 clowns in it, but I'll have like two or three. I'm, I'm going to have... Th like three max I mean I'm gonna only go with three for now uh, and see how the tank um, how the cancer filter you know holds up with the bio load of three fishes in there so for now I have two I'm gonna give it about another week and I'll add, add the, my third clown that I want to get I saw this beautiful designer clown at the same store I got the the white clown right here um, so I have my eye on that designer clown I'm gonna add that designer clown next week 
uh, because you don't want to add too many fish at once. You want to give it about a week uh, interval when it comes to adding fishes to the tank, especially in the beginning. Um, so I'm following that. I'm following some of the rules. I know I've broken a couple, but I'm trying to follow as, as much as I can. So one week. So these two fishes were added one week apart. Um, and I'm going to add the third one probably next week. And I'll give you guys a video. Uh, on my next video, you're going to see the third fish. But um, with that being said, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to change the title of this uh, series. Um, so it was a two and a half. It's a nano get. It was before it was a two and a half gallon tank series. It's now it's going to be a, just going to be a nano, nano reef tank um titled and in the future i might change it i might go with a um, designer clown tank i don't know uh leave a comment below you know what what would you guys like me to name this uh, little uh series that i'm doing with this 10 gallon tank um leave it in the comments below um if you have any more suggestions for me on what i should do next um leave it leave in the comments below as well um if you're looking at the setup that the way it is right now it's just the filter and the heater in there. I'm going to add a pump to it. I am going to add another pump. I haven't decided what kind of pump I'm going to be um I'm going to be adding in there, but I I have a couple in mind. Um but leave a comment below as well on the on the comment section. Let me know what kind of pump you think you would recommend for a 10 gallon nano tank. Um keep in mind I'm going to have a variety of uh, corals in it. Now I'll have different types. I'm definitely going to have one or two acroporas in there eventually, not in the beginning. I'm going to start with some softies first and work work, work my way up in this tank very gradually and slowly and stock this tank up. Um, now, how much I stock it up is based on how this cancer filter, you know, processes all that bio load from all that, all the coral and the livestock that's going to be in it. But we'll take it as one step at a time and see how it goes. But for now, uh, taking it really slow on this tank. Um, I've got some cleaner crews in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there are some hermit crabs in there. <coughs> Excuse me, a couple of snails in there. Um, but I might after I add the rest of the rock, the rock in there and the rest of the the live sand, I'm gonna um, add some more. I'll clean up crews, uh, maybe a shrimp, a couple of more snails, um, maybe a sea sne maybe a sea urchin, I don't know. Um, so those are coming next. Uh, well, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update video on what's going on. I know it's been a while since that first episode, so I wanted to keep make the second video and give you an update as to what's going on. I should have done this a long time ago, but this is the earliest chance I got to make a video. So here I am uh, informing you guys. So I'll keep you updated more frequently going forward. Probably the next video I'm going to do is when I get that third fish. Probably next week or the week after. And I'll give you guys an update on the water perimeters. I mean, right now they're fine. Everything is low. Uh, ammonia is zero. Everything is low. Nitrate is probably at 10 ppm. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. See how if it goes up or, or if it goes down. Um, yeah, and uh, until then, you just stay tuned. Uh, watch the rest of my videos on my channel. I mean, I haven't done a video on the 45 gallon on it yet, uh, in a while. That's because I haven't done much to the tank. But I'll on my next video, I'll talk about my 45 gallon as well. And we'll go from there. So until next time, guys, take care uh, and happy briefing.